The Society for Experimental Biology, or SEB, began 100 years ago. Three prominent zoologists, Lancelot Hogburn, Julian Huxley and Francis Crewe, would go on to shape the publication and dissemination of experimental biology. In 1922, Huxley and Hogburn published a paper together, and Crewe collaborated with Huxley on vertebrate research. Although published in prestigious journals, the three wanted more editorial and policy control to best represent their field. Fellow biologist Alexander Carr Saunders teamed up with the trio to establish an editorial board for the new British Journal for Experimental Biology. During a 1923 board meeting, members decided an association and conference would help promote experimental biology. So the first conference was held in December that year with great success. It was here that the association was formally deemed the Society for Experimental Biology. The broad scope of the SEB fostered collaboration between biological fields and the meetings were enthusiastic and popular. It continues to promote collaboration within the international community of experimental biologists to this day. As the society grew, so did members' interest in publishing papers from various disciplines. Thus, a division of sub-areas would better serve the scientists in their fields. The SEB now concentrates on three key areas of research, animal, plant and cell biology, and established a number of journals to reflect this. For their 100th anniversary, the SEB is planning a range of commemorative events, lectures and initiatives to highlight the contributions of experimental biology in all aspects of modern life. Society is excited to see what the next 100 years will bring.